This is the fever Fort Finn experiment for myself here in Southern California. The Fort Finn, I felt like over the years of watching guys surf on the Fort Finns, Nate Fletcher is just a huge inspiration to my surfing. He was able to push so hard on his stretch Fort Finns, like it just felt like he was using all rail and all fins and was just completely engaged every time he's doing turns. And it kind of came in this really cool time because you know, we've watched him for so many years and for me personally, never had this, maybe the space to experiment with different fins and different boards. You know, with COVID being able to be home and have six months or a year off to just completely freestyle it, I felt like I really dove into that headspace of like, what do I want to keep pushing myself in my surfing with? And, you know, Dane and Tanner at the time have been riding, um, they've been riding a lot of twin fins. And so, it was cool because we were all experimenting with the twin fins versus the thruster and the four fin was kind of like maybe that more performancey feeling to the twin fins that those guys were riding. The clips actually that everyone you're probably going to be watching right now are all actually the first day I've ever surfed a four fin and the second day I've ever surfed a four fin and it was just radical. The, the lines it was taking were feeling so different, so drivey, holding so long and it was everything that I'd kind of been aspiring to I think in a lot of ways in terms of my like performance carb surfing, I guess, if you'd call it that. Yeah, you kind of had like moments where you like hold the line and feel like one of your heroes, just like whoo, like all the way to flats, shaving speed. There's there's actually one clip that I'm, I don't know, AK will put on there, but it's uh, it's like one of my favorite ways I've surfed in a long time. And it's really nothing other than just like holding the rail, but it's like a, a kind of a slice carve and then kind of a, a snap. And then I come out of the snap and I fade back and I just go literally on one rail from the fade to the bottom turn to the huge carve. And I don't know, that was like, literally got me so stoked through COVID. That was probably my most stoked COVID moment for sure. <laughs> so yeah, normally I would be riding like, these are the, my normal fins. I would do the John John medium fins. Um, sometimes the large, just depending on the conditions. But I think the biggest difference to me was the fever design is crazy because it's, it's flat with a little hip in it and it's meant to go fast. So when we put the four fins on it, the first thing I noticed was the lateral kind of drive and drift, if you will. So it kind of had like that twin fin feeling where you were feeling this lift from the tail kind of part, like back here. But I felt like compared to a twin fin where it feels kind of squirrely, this felt like it was locking in and taking these really just kind of straight, linear lines consistently like just always on on rail it felt like and i think it spoke volumes to this design the fever because it's already made to go fast and hold those kind of lines so i think that the the four fins really suit it well It's exciting that this is like the first step into that world for myself. I just ordered, uh, gosh, I ordered three boards with glass on four fins. I did the same board replica. I did a step down fever, which essentially will be the burner four fin. And I did the rocket wide as a four fin. Cause I think around here, I'm just kind of tripping out how fun it is taking new lines about speed. <laughs> it's basically go fast and just fuck up some good lips <laughs> if you can. I think this board changed my view on how I'm approaching different waves. So I think I can't wait to go to Hawaii. I'm freaking out and I'm going to order a lot of four fins in Hawaii because I think it will translate so well to those, those waves. Um, and it made me think of a lot of waves I loved over the years on tour, like Bells or J-Bay or um, even Lowers, you know, like the four fin felt so good. So I, I'm curious to see what would be the negatives of the four fin. You know, I think maybe it doesn't have the pivot as much, but I could see this being a board that I would take into really quality waves, free surfing and on tour. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It's definitely a catalyst board for where I'm going in the future in terms of my, my equipment and surfing, which is super fun. And it's kind of something I, I feel like for the three of us, at least we've been really excited to find multi uses in different boards, you know, so like the rocket wide has like numerous setups of fins. You could be twin fins and trailer or, straight thruster or four fin and, and it changes the whole complexion of the board even though it's still one design.
So I think the fever is something that I'm excited. It's a fresh look at the fever for me. And um, I think for a lot of our boards, it's going to be kind of continuous in the next few years, like pushing the variations within the framework of, of design. So.